Good morning, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1123 Northeast 13th Circle here in Canby. We're located at the front of the home. We're just off to the left of the front doorway here, kind of tucked in the sage bush. There's a three inch ABS clean out as our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. Transitions here about four feet out over to the original cast iron pipe. It looks like we do have some standing water right off the bat here. About the first three feet of the line there, there's some standing water. Yeah, another section of standing water we're going through here. It switched to concrete pipe there at some point under the water. The camera kind of has a bad angle on this spot right here. I'm looking at the side wall the camera's kind of riding up against right now. It looks like we may have a, a part of the pipe, that, the wall there that's busted out. I can't tell if there's a hole all the way through it or not. But it does look like we've got some kind of break there in the line.
Okay, I just found a tie-in here in the line. I think we may have rounded the, the uh, tie-in to the main lateral and just didn't see it due to the standing water. I'm going to pull back here a little bit. Okay, I just located the camera head. I'm actually, the camera head is just about smack dab under the manhole cover out in the street. So it looks like the main lateral is right around this spot here. Uh, I don't know that it has a standard T connection like a lot of mains do. Uh, this could be the first line on the, uh, on the main. Anyway, I did locate it out in the street there. We got a, a lot of debris that's built up out here in the line. You can see we've got standing water. Here at 51 feet, this is that spot I mentioned on the way out where you might have some damage to the pipe. Uh, I just located this. This is out in the street area. Unfortunately, I just do not have a great angle on that. The way that the pipe is situated, it's kind of keeping my camera to the right side of the line. So I don't have a, uh, a fantastic view of how extensive that is. But it is in the street. So I, I, would, I would contact the city to find out if the homeowner is responsible for the street portion of the line. That was about eight feet or so out in the road. Yes. You have a significant belly here in the line, right where the, this is where the line transitions from cast iron pipe over to concrete. I'm going to locate and mark right here. Okay, then I'm marking here. This is in the front yard area, about 8 to 10 feet or so from the street curb. Marked it with a white X. We're at 4 feet deep here. I'm going to push out to the end of the belly. 
and try and map this whole thing out. There's there's a lot of standing water here. It's looking like probably an inch and a half, two inches of standing water. And it looks like it pops out right here at about 35 feet. So it's about a 10 foot belly. It looks like it's probably, the belly's going to end right about where the street curb's at. All right, another marking here. It looks like this belly is within the uh, the grass. I'm picking the camera head up here about 35 feet where the belly ends at five feet deep. So there is some depth change there, four to five feet deep across that repair. I do recommend correcting this belly. It's 10 feet long. There's about, I would say, about two inches of standing water in this part of the line. It's going to cause debris to build up there. and uh, the the concern is it can allow enough debris to hang up on the line that it can clog the pipe up. We do have, it looks like we have a dishwasher discharging right now. I think my camera has actually scraped a bit of the uh, debris off of the, the line here. When I first went out, there was a fair amount of debris built up on the sidewalls. I think my camera scraped a lot of that away. But I would recommend correcting about the first two feet of the line coming out of the clean-out. Um, the last thing you want to do is is have standing water right out of the gate like this. It slows everything down before it just about exits the house. Uh, if you were to get a clog here, it's right outside your foundation. This is obviously not as significant as the belly we found out <clears throat> further, um, but it's a belly nonetheless. It's it's going to be a difficult one to map out. There's a sage bush right over the top of this spot here, uh, but fairly easy to figure out. I'll put a diagram on my report. Um, this is probably only about a foot or so deep here. But likely this bush is going to probably have to get pulled out to uh, do the repair of it. I do see some debris that is stuck to the top of the pipe. So, and, and really the only way you can get debris sitting at the top of the line like that, you can see all the gunk up there, uh, is by the pipe filling up completely and depositing that stuff. So. Uh, it looks like we this has been causing some flow problems in the past. You can see the grease and stuff that's built up on the sidewalls there. So anyway, I'd recommend correcting about the first two feet of the line to remove that standing water. It looks like about a quarter to a half an inch. Uh, and then definitely repair the belly from 25 feet to 35 feet to correct that standing water. Um, from the curb out, I would recommend contacting the city. They may be responsible for that portion of the line. I would uh, highly recommend uh, at least letting them know about the Right about where the main lateral connection is, where I located the camera head at 61 feet, there's a lot of standing water and debris hanging out there, and the city would want to know about something like that. I recommend a rescope after the repair is done to ensure it was done, the, the bellies were corrected properly. And this is that big bush here in front. Basically, the pipe that spans underneath this bush here is what is where the belly is at right off the, off the bat. And then out here further in the yard, you can kind of see my white paint markings there. It's at the front of the, uh, the yard there where that belly is at, the major one.